What's up guys? I go by the name Drippy Visuals and we specialize in music videos. In today's video, I'm gonna give you five ways to improve your workflow within Premiere Pro. So the first thing we're gonna talk about today is proxies. Now proxies are great when your laptop or computer can't handle 4K footage. What a proxy does is condense down the 4K file to a lower resolution, making it easier to edit. So what we're going to do now is right click our footage, select proxies and then create proxies. As you can see it brings up this, this is just the resolution you bring it to. So if your computer is really slow, just bring it to a very low resolution. And then next your file destination, next to the original media and the proxy file or in another location, then select OK. And the media encoder will then condense down the file to a lower resolution allowing you to edit. So now if I come back into Premiere Pro and press this button here, the proxy button. It should play at a lower resolution, allowing me to edit easier and to watch the playback in full speed. If you can't find the proxy button, press this plus button here, find this icon here and drag it on. Now the next tip I want to show you is synchronizing your footage audio to the master audio. So all you have to do is select the master audio, then select the video's audio, right click, go to synchronize, audio track channel one, I press OK. And as you can see, Premiere Pro then begins to synchronize the audio. Nine out of 10 times synchronizing your audio will work. However, if the actual video audio isn't very clear, then it won't work. So the next thing that's really helped my workflow is the equipment I use to edit. Now recently I've picked up the MX Master 2S and it's been a lifesaver. It's really changed the way I've edited. This mouse is great because you can configure different button layouts depending on which program you're using, using the Logitech program. Customizable buttons to auto save, cut and paste, and CMV, which is the select button and the razor button. I would recommend this to mouse to anyone who's, who edits, whether that be design, video, photography, this mouse is amazing for it. It is a kind of a small investment, but it is very worth it and it will improve your workflow. So another thing I do in Premiere Pro, which helps me to edit faster, is label my sequences. And the reason I do this is because then I can tell the difference between scenes. I right click, I press label, and I can select a different color. So I'm gonna select blue. I have loads of different multiple colors representing different scenes and locations. It's it way easier for me to cut between all of them. And my final tip for improving your workflow on Premiere Pro is very simple. Organizing your folders before you put them into Premiere Pro. Rewatch all the footage and review it. And then I put it into subfolders. So if I've shot outside, I'm gonna put all the footage outside in the outside folder. If I've shot all the footage indoors, I'm gonna put it in the indoor folder. That way when I drop it into Premiere Pro, and all I have to do is click on the folders and pull the files that I need. I hope these tips came in handy because I wish I would have knew them way before it would have made my life so much easier. Follow me on Instagram at drippyvisuals underscore. But thanks for watching.